play in Battlefield 1. This is the Fort DeVoe map. I tend to play the more infantry based maps on Battlefield 1. I'm not exactly sure where that... I just pulled that knife out from there, that looked pretty painful. do occasionally do a bit of uh, tank driving in some of the more open maps. Yeah, I think it's good to play like a high speed game like this every now and again. Uh, it's good for training your mouse muscle memory. And it's also good for uh, training your situational awareness, where you have to keep track of like so much crazy shit going on all the time so fast. And I do find it good fun as well. Yeah, see me switch to the pistol there. When the gun, uh, when your main assault rifle runs out, you can switch to the pistol really quickly in this game. So uh, you want to make uh, use of that in um, situations where you need to be fast. Also, the pistol can be reloaded faster than the assault ri uh, rifle. Use the incendiary grenade there. I tend to use the uh, impact grenade more. The incendiary grenades definitely have the uses, but uh, for my like aggressive, fast playstyle, the uh, um, impact grenade seems to be the better option. Making use of the prone to get a few nice kills there. <clears> there <throat> was one thing I hated about Battlefield Bad Company, there was no prone. Made it feel very restrictive. Um, didn't like that at all. I do actually tend to use that from time to time. Alright, drive around in uh, one of the tanks now. Uh, use the F keys to switch between seats on the PC. Switch between guns. Actually accidentally changed the rear facing gun then, just at the right second. That was lucky. Alright, back on Fort DeVoe. You notice quite a few of uh, these clips are Fort DeVoe. I do like the Fort DeVoe map, though I do also like um, Argonne Forest and the French town one, Armines, I think it's called, something along those lines. You notice that my crosshair is a little bit uh, below head height as I'm going from corner to corner. Um, normally you'd want that at head height, however people aren't always stood up straight in this game, sometimes people are like knelt down. But also I tend to put the first shot in the upper chest, allowing the recoil to take the follow-up shots into the head. Uh, yeah, I do also like to use the knife quite a lot. Melee is pretty good in Battlefield, I find. Apart from that run and charge. Don't like it when you do the run and charge by accident. Yeah, I changed to another weapon at the moment. I'm not actually using the uh, automatic over once. Yeah, so you're making use of the prone there to hide in the holes on the ground that have uh, formed as the round's going on. Pretty useful uh, tactic to do that. And making use of the pistol there once my assault rifle ran out. Rather than taking the time to... Uh, reload the assault rifle. Could uh, get the attack in quicker by using the pistol. I tend to use pistols that uh, allow a higher rate of fire, so I can spam the trigger. Seems to work better for me. No issue. Well, I need to reload. Yeah, is that in there? No. Yeah, me and buddy in one of the towers here. There's quite a lot of enemy near us taking this flag that we're at at the moment. So we're just going to hold up in this tower for a while and kill people as they come in. Nice, not bad. We start to go for the uh, knife kills. A few enemies come in at the same time and uh, we end up just having a big <laughs> knife fight. It's pretty funny actually. <laughs> we can see that there's uh, enemies in the tower across the street from us. Uh, you can see them on the mini-map. Just on, they're just on the other side of the Charlie flag. I saw him moving across on the mini-map, that's how I was able to react to that so quickly. But yeah, unfortunately, grenade comes in, that's the one thing that we didn't need. As um, soon as I ran out there, got taken out straight away, because there's quite a few enemies about. Right, back on the uh, Fort DeVoe map again. Happened to be stood uh, just in the right place as that dude opened the window there. I think me opening the door there messed that dude's grenade up. Not totally sure, but I think that's what happened. <laughs> moving while shooting, always try to move while shoot, make it harder for people to shoot you back. Also constantly looking around all over the place, trying to keep my situational awareness up, trying to uh, keep on top of what's going on around me. Not always easy in a busy game like this where everything's so hectic. Yeah, you see I'm able to go to the uh, knife quite quickly there. I've got a button on my mouse to uh, use the knife attack. Definitely a useful thing to do. Okay, now I'm using the light tank. When I do tank driving, this is the tank that I tend to use the most. Don't really do any flying, I tend to prefer to use the tanks. <clears throat> uh, I don't like the fact that with the larger tanks you have to rely on your teammates too much. 
you can't like shoot the cannon and drive that's really annoying I find um, so I tend to use this lighter tank however of course being lighter it's got less armor so you've got to run away to repair the thing all the time which is quite annoying see in my in my opinion the tank should be right at the front in front of all the infantry rather than hiding back um, being a pussy all the time but in Battlefield 1 it just you don't really seem to be able to do that um, people that get really good kill death ratios in the tank are usually sat miles away from the action just shooting people from miles away which is yeah not not how tank driving should be in my opinion you've got a bulletproof vehicle you should be using it to protect your troops and taking the uh, taking the flag stuff like that um, like I'm doing here however here I'm just like lucky that there isn't any large tanks shooting me at the moment if uh, two enemy came up in a large tank I'd probably be pretty screwed straight away if I didn't run away but still, I'm using the fact that I'm not being attacked that much to my advantage. Staying near the tank, uh, near the flag. There's currently lots of enemies, allowing me to get lots of kills. Yeah, just about kept that thing alive to the end there. Pretty good round. Quite a good score. Good kill death ratio, although in a team based game your KDR means nothing. It's your uh, team score that is everything. How well you helped your team, you know, taking flags, things like that. That's what you want to be doing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully, see you next time. Take it easy.